How to answer a P5 exam question in 10 easy steps. Step 6. Step 6, I'll be talking about your presentation. Your presentation will have a major impact on the sort of marks that you'll be able to achieve in exam. So, there's always something that you need to remember. You need to remember that whoever is marking your scripts is under a lot of pressure to mark a lot of scripts in the shortest possible time. That means that he will not be able to go through your scripts very slowly. He will also be rushing through your scripts. That actually means that you need to make it easier for the marker to identify all the points that you put him through. One of the things that you need to remember is if you write long paragraphs, it makes it very difficult for the marker to identify your point. Avoid long paragraphs. One of the common errors that a lot of students make is repetition. You don't get marks for repeating yourself. So by repeating yourself, you are actually wasting time and you don't score any marks for that. Remember that there are a lot of easy marks to gain from your presentation. In P5, most often than not, you do have a minimum of four marks for professional marks. Professional marks, most of them will come to you when the examiner asks you to write a report. So by so doing, if the examiner is asking you to write a report, please put down the report format to, from, date, and subject. That will score you some marks. Also, if the examiner asks you to write a report, the most important thing that you can actually do is try to create an introduction paragraph. Your introduction paragraph shouldn't say anything much. Your introduction paragraph should be based on what you have been asked to do. So your introduction paragraph is whereby you are trying to introduce the sort of report that you're going to write, whereby it will be based on the requirement that you've been asked to write. Remember, if possible, you can give some recommendations. Sometimes it's very difficult to give recommendations, and therefore don't worry. But if you can actually give a recommendation, let that one be your final paragraph. That will be an easy format gain in the exam hall. Remember, your presentation actually counts because the marker marking your scripts is not marking your script alone. The marker marking your script will also like to go out and have some fun, make it easy, and score the marks with ease. So remember, the four things you need to remember will include, first, short paragraphs. Your paragraph should not be that long. That means that if you can actually look at it carefully, give a subheading for each paragraph, write up to a maximum of five to six lines, and stop. Your second paragraphs, leave a line between the first and the second paragraph, bring down a short subheading, and then write another short paragraph. This will make it easy for the marker to identify your points. The second step that you need to also do it, make sure you show some working. Most of your numerical questions will require a lot of numbers. You are not supposed to show every calculation, but then try to show some workings. Remember, if you don't show workings and you get some of the numbers wrong, it will be difficult for the marker to identify where the numbers do come from. Show some workings for some of the important bits. The third step that you can also be thinking of is make sure you leave a line between the paragraphs. This makes it easy for you to score marks easily because the marker will be able to identify your points easily. The last but not the least step is please avoid repetition because repetition actually wastes your time and don't score you no marks. Enjoy.